Back to back, Jack. Make a new plan, Stan. You don't need to be caught. What is going on, YouTube? My first video, first time speaking into a camera. I'm just thrilled. I'm super excited to be doing this. Uh, my name is Edmund Smith. I'm an enrolled agent, uh, QuickBooks Pro Advisor too. Um, be able to answer any any of your tax related questions. Feel free feel free to contact me. Reach out to me. I'm gonna have all my social, email, my website. Everything is gonna be listed down below. You, you know the YouTube drill. All right, we're gonna have all that. Uh, I plan on posting videos every other Tuesday. They're going to be tax related, similar to this. I'm going to keep things bite sized. Well, that's embarrassing. First video. So, organizational expenditures is the cost to start a corporation. So, for you and I, that's not really something that we're going to have to worry about. Um, an example of uh, <clears throat> organizational expenditure would be uh, the cost to incorporate with the state. Or it could be the uh, the fee for your corporate charter. So those are things that the typical business owner isn't really necessarily going to have to worry about. So before talking about uh, startup expenses, I think it's going to be it's important to clarify exactly what when your business stops being a startup and when it starts being a business. So your business starts being a business after you make a sale. So the second you make your first sale, you're motion. You're sailing. You're no longer a startup. That's done. That's not the that's in the past. But before that, before that first sale, the cost that you incur, you can write off as a startup expenses. So these could be things like your accounting software, or maybe training an employee, or possibly, you know, you got your grand opening advertisement, you go crazy with it. You can deduct these costs and you can deduct them or even just, you know, a typical one be office supplies, of course, just things like that. So how much you can you deduct? You can deduct, the maximum you can deduct for the year, 5,000. 5,000 is the most you can deduct. After that, you can you can amateurize uh, the rest of the expenses over 15 years. So let's do, for simplicity's sake, let's say you spend 20,000 on your startup expenses. You can deduct 5,000 of that in your first year. Easy peasy. Boom. The other 15,000, however, that's going to be amateurized over 15 years. So then that's each year you're going to be able to deduct some of that. Um, you know, if, unfortunately, if, if your business goes under, then you can deduct all of it right then and there. Hopefully that doesn't happen to anyone or any of us, but you know, it's something that does happen. And that's another thing with the startup expenses that there are quite, kind of quite a few caveats with it. So another important caveat that, uh, <clears throat> that can be overlooked is that if you, if you don't start your business, you can't claim the startup. Like you have to have your business before you claim the startup expenses. Um, unless, unless this is, Stick with me, unless you already, if you already have a business, so you already, you're good. You say, for example, you got an ice cream shop and then you're looking to make a, you know, a sprinkle shop. So you're looking over and you're spending money on what's the research analytics on, you know, spending thousands of dollars on, well, what's the best sprinkle? What's the best type of sprinkle for this ice cream? <clears throat> and COVID hits. Now you can't make your, you can't be, there's no, no d demand for your sprinkle shop. Well, you can still deduct those costs because you have a business. But if you didn't have a business and you were looking to make the sprinkle shop, you wouldn't be able to deduct those costs because you don't have, you didn't start it. There was no startup. Um, so that's another thing to keep in mind. And if you have any of those questions, I'm sure that probably wasn't, I still may have questions. I want to keep this short. So I'm going to end the video there. Feel free to um, ask me any questions, anything like that. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit rough at points. This is my first video. Bear with me. Uh, everything gets better with time. So um happy you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment. Mm, great. Take care, everyone.